Hello guys and welcome to the channel. My name is Yawasi Pisacher and this is Ashko TV, the official YouTube channel for Aceda House Commodities. Remember Aceda House Commodities is a mixed trading entity. We have taken our time over the past 5 to 10 years to study the maize markets in Ghana, the maize trade, the maize trading trends in Ghana. And if you have any such inquiries, if you have any such interest in this sector, pick up our numbers and call us. We are the best people to speak with. Now fast forward into today's video. Yesterday I posted a video where which I was commenting about a first and towards record breaking attempt. Right, and in that in that video, in yesterday's video, I made it very clear that me personally, from what I have seen her do in day one, day two, and the strength, you know, that she was carrying along, I believe that she was going to break the record. And what are we seeing today? The record has been broken, right? But there's something else that I want us to look at as business people. There's something, there's a skill that I've identified that I want us to look at. It's very important and it has to do with the Indian that was holding the record already. Okay, the previous record holder, I mean this has not been certified yet, but you don't know but what we are uh, what 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 we what we are hoping for is that in this um, book of records, then in this world, world record, the company will just Will approve a first effort and give her the new record, right? So I'm talking about the previous man holding it, the Indian. He was in Ghana yesterday. Yes, he was in Ghana, and he didn't come as a tourist. He came to support the fourth. This is something I want us to to talk about and deliberate and see how important it is for. We as business people to always share each other, share each other's success, right? Even 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 if it poses a level of competition to us, what would that do for us, right? Okay. Now I want us to look at being able to accept challenges. It is a skill that I want us to look at. Being able to accept challenges. Looking at what the man came to do is so beautiful. All right, and it's, it, it means he has identified a challenge to him. It is a challenge, right? This is somebody who has broken a record that you have held for 11 solid years. It's, it's a challenge, but he has accepted it as such. All right, one, what is the benefit that he's going to get, he's going to get by doing this? He's going to get extra love, right? He's going to get extra love and and compassion from the people of Ghana and from everybody who is supporting a four. He's going to, you know, um, extend his territory into a first territory by way of getting some of his hair fans to, 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 to like him, right? This is important in business, right? Because this is social media. It's a, it's a population or number, number of people's game, right? If you put out stuff, you put out the content online, the, how much money you make or revenue you make is based on the number of people that you, that, that you watch the video and like it and say good things or comment about it. Alright? So a certain challenge, a challenge like what he has done is going to be beneficial to him. And the second thing is um, to accept a challenge that that will help in you know moving the industry forward. Why am I saying this? If you take um, something like maze trading, if you take something like maze trading, I will use that as an example because that is my field, that's my business field. If you have something that looks like a challenge or a competition, all right. If let's say you are a maize supplier, then you realize that someone else is also supplying maize. The person becomes your competition, right? But come to think of it, if you look at the bigger picture, you realize that the person is not your competition. The person can even be in your network. He can even be your ally because there can be a deal that you cannot take care of it alone, and the, and you can rely on the person's effort. Your 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 um. Uh, your competitors, your competitors' effort, you know, to supplement your 
your your ability to, to fulfill your customers, right? And by so doing, you're going to reap some level of percentage in, in in terms of in terms of profit from your competitor. So in this case, the person who is posing as a competitor is even going to be a business, you know, um, your 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 business network. All right. So it is. This is something beautiful, and it's. It, it tells us as business people that when we see competition, we shouldn't look at it as competition. We should be mature enough to look at it as a network. We look at it as something that is going to give her our own efforts to propel it. Let's take the market women for example. All right. There's something that I see. I don't know if you have also seen it in our uh, society. If you're producing something or you're selling, let's, let's even take the market people who market women who just sell, right? You realize that if one is selling tomatoes and another person is selling tomatoes, it it looks like the person, the next person who is selling tomatoes is if say I am the one selling it and another one is another person is selling it. Person poses a, a bit of um, competition, like I said earlier, but because I don't understand the level of competition and the advantages that that competition can even do for me, I'm seeing it as uh, I'm seeing it as the reason why my goods are not being bought. Because I'm going to think that, okay, the person who is supposed to come and buy my is going to will, will, will definitely go uh, buy from the next person and because of that i will lose a customer but if i can act or work with the next person who is also selling the tomatoes it could even be that there will be a day that he stops or will finish his tomatoes will finish but for me because i have created a good relationship with the person even if he saw her customers come and his stocks is uh, finished he can direct them to me okay he can direct them to me and in that case i have benefited all right but if it's so happening that i have such a friction with a person and be like oh okay i'm selling tomatoes you also come and you're selling tomatoes next to me and i have that 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 um, friction with a person the next time the person might be able to sell his stocks and his customers will be coming instead of saying okay go to the, pe the, the customer should come to me he or she will be like oh, okay i mean um, i don't have tomatoes today so come back in the evening or i don't have some in the morning this morning so come back in the evening or come back tomorrow his customers if they don't need it very urgent they will wait until he or she gets stopped and then i'll be there i'll just be sitting down Okay, so it is something that I, it's, it, it's a skill, right? And it is uh, something that I wish all business people will learn and inculcate into their daily activities, right? The, the person who is doing what you are doing, exactly what you are doing, it shouldn't be your competitor. It should be your network. It should be your business relationship. You should create a good business relationship with the person. And together, the industry will move forward. Together. A good light will be spotted on you. All right. So, um, congratulations once again to our first and to work for breaking it and even setting new uh, records. And um, congratulations to you too for watching this video and taking steps to set up an agri business in 2024 and beyond. All right. Once again, my name is Yawasim Pesetra, and this is what I came here to let you to discuss with you if you have a comment drop it in the comment section anything else you want us to talk about drop it in the comment section like this video and share it to your loved ones until we meet in the next one bye bye for now